Hi, kindergarten. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. I know I did. I was wishing the sun was out just a bit more, but it, it still has been really nice just to have a couple days um, to be with our families and relax. So uh, enjoying that Memorial Day where we remember those who have um, given their lives in protecting our country. Um, wanted to say before we get started, this is Spirit Week and we're kicking off the week. Um, getting ready for our virtual jogathon. Now I, I, I have my jogathon shirt on. This is from I think 2018, two years ago. Um, I wanted to say whoop whoop, ND Cavalli, shout out to you for winning the logo design contest. And I can't wait to see your shirt and see your design and wear it, Andy. That's so cool. And Blake Kramer, <laughs> woo, runner up, kindergarten. Blake, way to represent. I am really proud of you. Uh, Blake, I'll bet in years to come, your, your design will be gracing a, a Jogathon t-shirt. And that's just great. Good for all of you for entering that contest. And I know it was hard for Mr. Ferguson to pick. So, getting ready for our Jogathon week and our Spirit week. First day is athletic wear. I've got my athletic wear on. As you know, I broke my toe. I'm really bummed I can't do the 5K route. <sighs> Next year. Next year I will, kindergarten. Okay. Back to today. Um, we are down to our last two letters of the alphabet. Oh my gosh, can't believe it. Down to our last two alpha friends. We're almost there, kindergarten. And today's letter is a wonderful letter, the letter Y. And our alpha friend is Yetta Yo-Yo. Can you say that? Yetta Yo-Yo. And Yetta Yo-Yo, her name starts with the sound of Y. Y makes the Y sound, Y that you hear at the beginning of Yetta and Yo-Yo, okay? So I'm going to be singing her song as usual. I'll put Yetta up here for a minute while we sing. Here she is. And if you hear a word in Yetta Yo-Yo's song that you think starts with the Y sound, I want you to shake your head. Yes. Yes starts with the Y sound. So when you hear that word or words, give me a little nod of the head, okay? You're going to be nodding a lot because there's a lot of words that start with the y sound. So here we go. Get ready. Yet a yo-yo can yawn on cue. Yet a yo-yo can yell yoo-hoo. Yet a yodo can yodel too. Yet a wants to know what you can do. Okay, did you hear some words that started with the ya sound? I think I did too. Let's sing it one more time, a little more slowly. Nod your head, yes. Yet a yo-yo can yawn on cue. Oh, I heard something there. Yet a yo-yo can yell you. Yet a yo-yo can yodel too. Yet a wants to know what you can do. Oh my gosh, I heard so many words that started with the ya sound. I heard, oh, yawn. Oh my gosh, you're so tired, you have to yawn. And I heard yodel. Do you know what, do you know how to yodel? You Yodeling style. 
if we were all in kindergarten, we would all yodel together. Some people really get into their yodeling. Yell. We don't, we try not to yell at school, but sometimes when you're out on the playground, you yell at each other. I hear you say, hey, so-and-so, come down to the blacktop or come down to the field. You yell back and forth. And Yetta wants to know what you can do. Oh, there's a word, you. It starts with like yeah sound. What can you do? I'm giving you three seconds to tell Yoda, <laughs> Yetta, shout out something you can do. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice job. You can do so many things, kindergarten. Okay, here we go. Let's look for why in some words. Now, we've had this high frequency word, and it has the letter Y in it. What's that word, everybody? The word is U, right? That starts with the letter Y. And then we have the word yes. Yes, and yes is a word that starts with the letter Y. Yes, and then we have the word, oh, yard, whoops, yard. Mr. Griffith just had to close the door because somebody was making a lot of noise in the yard. And then last but not least, we have the word year. We have had a kindergarten year together, haven't we? So we hear, hear that Y sound in you, yes, yard, and year. All right? Now, kindergarten... In many, many fonts, you'll see the letter capital Y looking like this. Okay. Um, and in many books and magazines, you'll see capital Y looking like that. In Denelian, the Y, the capital Y looks a little different. In Denelian, this first stroke is the same. We start at the top line of course. It's a two-story letter. It goes all the way from the clouds, all the way down to the grass. Touching and touching. Okay, so this first stroke is the same. It's a diagonal stroke that goes from the top line to the dotted line, right in the middle. And then we pick up our pencil and we go back up to the top and we come down and touch and touch. Okay, so in Denelian, this line here is diagonal. It is not straight. It's not horizontal. I guess vertical. It's not vertical. It's diagonal. So we come down, stop, go back up, down all the way, stop. Okay, so let's try. Down, stop, go back up, down all the way, stop. Okay, so this line is a diagonal line in capital Y in Denelian. Okay, so if I was going to write Yetta's name, I would use a capital letter Y E T T A. Yetta. Okay. Not like this. So let's get our magic sky writers out. Go all the way up to the top. We're going to do this short diagonal line first. We come down, stop. Pick up your pencil, magic sky writer. Go way up to the top. Diagonally down all the way. It's kind of fun. It's like a big slide. It's down, down. Down, down. Okay, now 
tricky enough, the letter U, lowercase u, got us ready for lowercase y. And I'll show you why. Here's lowercase u on the umbrella. We did this a couple weeks ago. Okay, remember lowercase u, right? Starting at the dotted line, starting at the top, we came down and we went right back up and we came down and we did a little kick. Well, lowercase u starts just the same. Start at the dotted line, come around and up, then we come down and instead of doing the kick, we drop down into the water and we do a little umbrella handle. All one stroke. So two strokes for capital Y, all one stroke for lowercase y. Once we start, we do not stop. Okay, just a nice little umbrella hook. You don't want to come too far up. You don't want to be too short. Nice little umbrella hook handle there. Okay, I'd say this was my best one. And uh, this one is my best one here. Okay, so today <coughs> with your mom and dad, you're going to be practicing your Danelian handwriting for capital Y and lowercase y. Okay, you're also going to be practicing finding some words that have the y sound. Okay, let's do a quick little vowel sort. Well, it's not a vowel sort, it's a letter sort. We've got some letters here. What's this letter, everybody? Oh, I heard Annalise say it just like that. It's the letter D. Good job, Annalise. What's this letter, everybody? Oh, Henry Scholl told me it was W, just like that. Nice job, Henry. And last but not least, Lana Turner over the airwaves. She told me it was Y. Good job, and she is correct. So we have D, Y, and D, D W, and Y. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Griffith. D, W, Y. Okay, we are ready to sort some pictures. I want you to tell me, would I put this picture under the D? Does it start with D? Under the W, does it start with W? Or under the Y, does it start with Y? Now, here's a tricky thing. A lot of kindergarten kids get the sound of W and the sound of Y mixed up. Okay? W, we already have that alpha friend, Wiggly Worm. When we make the W sound, watch my mouth, it gets small and round. W, wiggle, worm. But when we say the Y sound, my mouth kind of goes sideways. Yada, yo yo. Okay, this is W, this is Y. So watch and listen carefully for those two sounds. Okay, what is this? This is a color. Yeah, this is yellow. Would it go under D? No, then it would be Dello. Would it go under W? No, then it would be Wello. It goes under Y. Y says yeah. It's yellow. Very good. Okay. How about this? Ooh, this is a big aquatic mammal. A walrus. Walrus. What letter would you hear at the beginning of that word? Is it a dolrus? No. 
Is it a walrus? It's a walrus. Walrus, very good. Hey, how about this one? This is a doll. What letter would it start at? Does it start with D, W, or Y? Is it a wall? Is it a yawl? No, oh, it's a d doll. Goes under D. Okay, now this is, we have to look at where the arrow's pointing. The arrow's pointing at the yolk. The egg yolk. D, W, or Y for yolk. Good job. It's the Y. Otherwise, it would be a woke or a doke. This is a spider's what? Web. A web. Which letter would it go under? Good job. It goes under W. Otherwise, it would be a deb or a yeb. How about this one? Dog. What letter would it go under? Very good. It would go under the d, d. If it was here, it would be a wog. And if it was over with Y, it would be a yog. Nope, those don't work. All right. Kindergarten. Woo! If we were at school, we would be dancing around. We'd have a dance party to celebrate because guess what? We are having our last six high frequency words of the year. Yes, woo, kindergarten. We made it, 88 words. Oh, that's a lot of words, kindergarten. And I know you've been working so hard on them. Yes, oh my gosh, it's a lot to keep track of. So let me show you today our six brand new high frequency words. Take these down. And we'll talk about them. All right. Here's number one. It has the shh digraph, SH at the beginning. Shh. This is show. We show our pictures and you use the word show to tell about letting people look at something so you might say the teacher will show us how to do it or will you show me your toy okay this is the word show spell it with me s h O W show. Very good. Okay, we'll put that up top. Okay, next one is two. Now, we've already had two T O. Well, this is another two, and you'll notice it has T O O. It's got a double whammy O there. Okay? And the sentence that we have says, we draw houses and we draw people too, okay? So the word too means also. When it has two O's, this is tricky, the meaning of the word changes. And so it means also, because I could say, I like math, but I like science too meaning I like science also. Or I could say, I'm going to the party. Are you going to? Okay, are you going also? So if I was saying the word to and I was meaning also, I would use this to, T-O-O, -O, instead of just plain old T-O, okay? We draw houses. And we draw people too. Okay.
The next word is one we see all the time, every, well, each Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, each day we go to school. Because when we do our calendar at school, we talk about the day every single day, don't we? And we mark it on our calendar. Um, and a day, kindergarten, is a period of 24 hours, okay? And there are seven days in a week. So I could say, what day is your birthday, okay? And you would tell me the specific day that your birthday is. Um, I could say one day I will be a grown up, meaning that the time will come when you will not be five or six, you will be an adult. Hard to believe, isn't it? So our sentence is, we show, oh, well, they've got the word show there, the, well, there's another high frequency word. We show the weather for, there's another high frequency word, each day. Very good. Okay. Then this, we've got the word hour. We raise our hands. Here's a picture of some kids raising their hands. You use the word hour to tell about something that belongs to you and someone else. So when we're at school, I sometimes say to you, kindergarten, this is our classroom. That means this classroom belongs to all of us, belongs to me and all of you, my students. It's our classroom. It's not just my classroom. It's not just your classroom. It's our classroom, okay? Um, you, I might say to you, do you like our school, right? The school that belongs to all of us, not just to me and not just to you, but to all of us. O U R, our. Okay, two more to go. Ooh, we're almost there. This is the word. Take, T-A-K-E. We take turns, okay? This is a word that has a silent E on the end. When I say the word take, that E doesn't get to say anything, but it makes the A say its name. So we take turns. Um, if you take something, you bring it with you. So I might say, I will take my bike to the park. Or I might say, can I take that book home? All right. Take. T-A-K-E. Very good. Maybe I'll put take right here. Drum roll, please. Last word of the year. Off. Off. O F F. We get off the bus. If something is off, it is not on. Right? I might say, Please turn the lights off, okay? The washing machine is off, which means it is no longer running. O-F-F, -F, off. There you have it, kindergarten. Our last six high-frequency words for the year. Let's read them together. Show, to, day, hour, take, off. You did it. Nice job, kindergarten. 
I'll talk to you soon. Work hard with why and your new six high frequency words. Bye.